Hey everybody, welcome back to Thronefall. Uh, I really enjoyed making that first episode. You guys seem to really like it as well. Uh, and then I got carried away with Baldur's Gate 3, as you've probably uh, noticed on the channel. But I want to come back to this. Uh, the game is not very long, so I'd like to complete it. Uh, it's really fun, really addictive. And so here we are. Thank you for your patience. Two options here. We either try to finish the quests over here, or we try to go here and maybe unlock uh, this area, I presume. So I have to beat this to unlock it. Yeah. So let's try this. If it doesn't work out, that's okay. Uh, we'll go back and unlock some more things at the previous level to make us stronger. So in terms of quests, uh, we need to achieve a victory. That'd be great. Achieve a victory without the spear. So we'll go longbow. Achieve a victory with the snake. Achieve a victory with the spear and the turtle. Achieve a victory with the... There's another mutator, I guess, that will unlock here at some point. We don't see that. Uh, but we have to do that with the with a double mutator and then achieve a score of 12,000. So, tell you what. Why don't we go for the two first quests here? Achieve a victory. We'll go longbow. And that would get us a vic uh, quest B if we pull this off as well. For perks, we have the Royal Mint. Your castle center produces gold and that income increases every time you upgrade it. Uh, we have Arcane Tower, so your towers have a much greater range and their projectiles deal significantly more damage to enemies. Heavy Armor, you have a very large amount of health, but your horse is slightly slower at night. Uh, I don't know if that's the one. Your Castle Center has a lot more health points, fires arrows much faster, has a greater attack range. Okay, let's take a Castle Fortification and Arcane Towers. I feel like one of the big keys here is, well... Staying alive, because if you die, it's like it, if your castle explodes, it's over. Your economy could be a bit slower as long as you could defend it, I guess. Uh, I am tempted to maybe go Royal Mint so that we get a little bit more income coming in every turn. Um, yeah, that's kind of a tough. It's kind of a tough call. Let's let's dive in here and we'll do it like this. So the castle shoots better, the towers shoot better. Let's see how we go here. Okay, so, um, let's see, I've got housing spots, archery, defense tower, wall, defense tower. I've got horses at the bottom, that's the first attack, that's fine. Gold mines, these initially generate a high income that decreases over time, minus one per day. So they start at six, you go six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Movement bonus, teleport to another gold mine, that's kind of interesting. So for an investment of 5, you're getting uh, 6 plus 5 is 11, plus 4 is 15, plus 3 is 18, plus 2 is 20, plus 1 is 21. So you're making profits here. You are making profits here, for sure. Uh, how greedy would it be for me to upgrade this right away? Probably quite. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. And maybe let's go um, Builder's Guild so that I can get a free house upgrade. And if I build a house every time, then uh, that that's going to be my focus. Make sure I build a house every turn. Did this add anything? Got towers out here. That's cool. Houses, towers, towers. Tower, another mine. Oh, I can go over the ledge there. Build a wall here. I've got barricades. Damage fast enemies and slow them down. Wall, melee barracks, wall, tower, mills, tower, mill, tower, <laughs> mill, tower. Okay, we can put walls like way out here. That is one nice thing, I guess, about upgrading really early is you get so much more information about what you can build. Mine there. House. Tower. Let's see. And then wall and barricade. Okay. Well, I got to focus our attentions at the bottom because that's what's happening first. So, I'll place a, oh, I'll place a wall here. I hope that my castle can hit these guys. And then... Oh, look at... Yeah, the castle range is actually kind of nuts.
I'll just wait for my attack to come off cooldown and go in for some easy hits while these guys try to break the wall. They have broken the wall. Our castle should be able to tank a couple hits. That's actually totally fine. Okay. So my income there is not great. Um, the castle produces zero gold. I don't love that. So that's the difference if you pick that perk. So your castle would be generating gold every turn. I wonder how good that is because I have no gold. <laughs> I have no gold. And now I've got units coming in here. I kind of have to build this fence. And I have no defense. Interesting. These guys are pretty weak, so that's fine and dandy. I'll maybe focus these instead. Yeah, look how strong these are. That's the problem. And there's a bunch. Now, remember, you can, like, lock onto units. Um, that's only for me. That doesn't necessarily dictate anybody else attacking them, like my, my castle. Oh boy. Fight me. Oh, I think we're dead here. Yeah, we're dead like immediately. I can't even like get their attention. Oh my God, it's gonna be close. It is gonna be very close. Oh my God, we're not dead. We're not dead, and I have a whopping seven coins. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I have seven coins. Gotta build a house. I have knights at the bottom. I feel like that's probably fine. I have 14 archers at the top. So I'm gonna do um, one of these. Oh, that, I keep sliding off that ledge there. I only have two, so... You know what? I'll do this. I'll build another house, and then I don't have to do anything for next time. I'll try... Okay, these guys are going to be the later spawners. Fair enough. Let's get some work going up here. Yeah, maybe I'm sleeping on the other uh, perk. for getting the castle producing gold. Oh, I missed my attack. That sucks. I think I missed it there too. It's gonna be another sweaty night defending the castle. I think, well, I think we're fine. I just feel like I, I have no economy right now. Like, I have feel like there's, there's, and there's nothing really I can do, um, other than doing what I'm doing. <laughs> and trying to get some economy every time. So now I'm getting archers from the top right, um, the charging scarabs from the left, with a bunch of knights as well. So this would cost me four. That leaves me with five. Spend this. It takes me to two. So what's better for me? Do I go defense tower and a wall or defense tower and the barricade for slow? Or do I get units? Is maybe, maybe getting units here would be better. That's a tough call. I'm going to take the barricade because because of the the strength of our um, castle and then I'll build another house okay 
There's only 10 archers to the top, but there's literally no automated defenses either. Let me go check the top right, just to see if this fence is getting hammered. No, it's not. Yeah, okay, the tower does reach here, that's good. And some of these guys, interesting. So I can kind of kite some- Oh, I'm gonna get- I'm gonna get downed here. Some of them are going for the tower, and some are following me. I'll try and clear this area before I leave. Man, when I miss those attacks, that's actually pretty significant. Okay. Should be able to handle these guys. I really need an army. Follow me. Okay. Somehow this is... It's... I mean, it's still working. It's not the prettiest. I just need to... I just need more gold, man. I need, I need so much gold. Okay, so from the bottom now, uh, we have knights and, like... Spiky balls. That's cool. That's super cool. So let's defend here. Defend here. Defend here. And do a house, I think. Okay. 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 Let's see how this goes. Oops. Nice, that was good. Oh, look at that damage, holy crap. Oh, what fence? Yeah, he's gonna blow up, so... If I can't get him before he hits something, there's no point, really. But if he blows up that fence, like, who cares? Okay, but now we know. Now we know. Okay. Okay. So I do have a house available to be upgraded here. I'm up to 14 gold. The upgrade here is 20. I got scarabs top left. I don't... Like, why am I calling them scarabs? I don't know. They just look like it, I guess. And then top right is a bunch... A bunch of, uh... Of archers, which is a little bit of a problem, I think. Uh... Wait, we have, is it uh, crossbowmen that are resistant to ranged? I think so. Bonus damage against ranged. Low range, high damage. Uh, oh yeah, armored against range. Okay, sick. So I'm going to bring these guys out here. I'll lock him in. Build a tower, or a, a wall there. I'll provide some additional support with a tower there. I got four left. Uh, I guess we'll put a wall here. We'll put a wall down here. And let's see if these guys start spawning. They are. Okay, these are the ones that chase me. Oh god, the damage. But I can kite them through this, actually, so... That's actually... Look how strong that barricade is. So, so nice. Hey guys, uh, do your thing. I kind of locked them in there, and they were slightly out of range, it looks like, so... Oh, I missed! 
Those attacks can't be missed. Like, look how much damage that is. You cannot afford to miss that. Okay. 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 So you're telling me there's a chance. It's not a great chance, I don't think. Okay, you guys come with me. So we have a bunch of ranged units down here. We have spiky balls. Uh, and ogres. I have all of my housing upgraded. I wonder if I should build a mine here. Get a big surge of gold for the next couple of rounds. And then I could do what? Tower, tower. Right? I could do one house so that we get the upgrade. A mine for five. And then three. Uh, you know what we could do? Let's do this and we'll build the explosive trap. I hope this is good enough. Looks like the knights are getting demolished there, so that's good. These guys I would prefer to have behind here. He's, like, not listening. He has a death wish. Now, does this blow... Okay, it blows up the section. It at least doesn't blow up the whole thing. Now you guys go wherever you want. I should actually... I'm, I should check those knights, because I just kind of assumed. Yeah, it looks fine. Okay, we're holding, man. We're holding. We're holding. I don't know if... Like, I'm feeling quite stressed, but, like, maybe I... Maybe I can chill out, like, a, just a, just a, just a tiddlywink. Okay, so now we've got that same batch of enemies coming from all three sides. So that, that is a bit of a problem. Because I am understaffed. <laughs> understaffed and overworked, you know? Let's fuel the economy a bit there. These dudes we're gonna send somewhere. Now, do I want more crossbowmen? They're good against range, but there's not a lot of range here. Uh, oh, you know what? We unlocked... Let's go melee here. Flails. Simultaneously attack all enemies in a circle around them. That seems cool. And I'll tell you what. I'm going to buy a bunch of them. Because we have big groups coming, right? So I'm hoping... <laughs> I'm hoping... Maybe I can choke point that. I'll have to micro them a tad. Let's do this. I'll bring them... Uh, I'll put them here. I don't want them, like, running out too far, but, you know. Hopefully these guys have the range from there. And then I have nine. So what do I want to do with nine? I could get some archers. Let's get some regular archers. And place these guys here. Do I have any more barricades? Yeah, I do. Let's do a barricade. Okay. I'm most vulnerable up here. Um... I'm going to just let them do their thing because I don't see that big ball spawning yet. Oh, there comes the ball. That's going to blow up all of them, I think. Yeah, it would have. Let's fight them here. Ah, actually, chase them. Chase to your heart's content, my dudes. Oh, I feel like the ball already did its work here, so that's fine. We demolished the bottom side. The flails are paying off. I'm just not getting a lot of my, my core attacks in, unfortunately. Let's 
So I wonder what would be best against the ogres. I could remove the lock from these guys, but it's fine. Oops. Okay. 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 What wave are we on, even? I don't even know. Okay. 35 horses from all three sides. That's, uh, interesting. That is interesting. So I have a whole bunch of crossbowmen. I have four flails. I have... This would be more archers. Oh, and I have... Yeah, right. I have eight flails. That's right. Um... This would be more archers. Maybe more crossbowmen. Or maybe because they're horses, like maybe I need to slow them down. We'll do some spearmen here. And I'll just get a bunch of them. That leaves me with 14. We'll go here for a house. And then... If I'm going to build another gold mine, like, it kind of has to be now. So maybe I'll do that. Gold mine there. Okay, there's a housing spot, too, in case we run out. These guys. Let's go. So we're going to keep all our range units there. I'm okay with that. That's archery. So kind of what I'm what I'm hoping is that these guys can fight in two spots essentially. The the group from the bottom is going to get weakened by this guy or by this team, right? And then when they break through here, um, then these guys the residual can go and fight. I could put a tower out here. I just feel like that's going to drop so quickly. Uh, maybe a maybe an explosive mill out there isn't terrible. Or I could use this opportunity where I kind of think I'm okay from a defensive standpoint to, like, either save or invest in our economy more. You know, maybe I'll, maybe what I'll do is this. Let's put our, our other thing here. If I knew the wave number, I could kind of more accurately decide if this is worth it or not. Because you wouldn't want to place this um, if you're not going to get almost all the value out of it. Anyways, I think that's okay. Maybe what I'll do then is throw a house here. Okay, that unlocks new housing spots too. Alright. The only group I have locked in are my, my archers here. I don't necessarily want these guys to leave. God, I can't believe I missed that attack. The flails actually seem to be doing pretty well here. I mean, they have the support of uh, me and the, the archer team, or the, the tower there, but... Now, did these guys run? Yeah. That's always... A bit of the concern. I, I'm going to bring him back just because... I need to make sure that they're close. Come over here. And then you guys can be free as well. Should be fine. Okay, we're doing it. Things are happening. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now, we have a big fat wave to the bottom. Uh, you know what? I've got a bunch of money. <laughs> Surprisingly. First time I could say that. How, how does this work? Oh, wow. You just like, oh, wow. So you... It goes through in an order. It still is pretty quick, I will say. 
Uh, so from the top, we're getting some scarabs. From the bottom left, we're getting all sorts of stuff. If I go here, then I get my next level of, like, fortifications. Healing aura. Damage output and units move faster. Let's do that. For 18. Or I have 18 left. Then I can do this. And then I can do these two towers. Okay. And then I bring basically my entire squad over here. Actually, uh... Maybe what I would do... I wish there was a way to kind of filter these dudes once they're here. If there is, like, I don't know how to do it. I'm, I'm trying to get all my uh, javelins. I'll take a crossbow guy can come. That's fine. I'll throw these at the, the group at the top. That's not bad. I can intercept this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I have two more somewhere. These are all flails. Flails, flails, archers. Oh, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, where's my where's my eighth dude? Did I like lock him out somewhere? He could be in that he's probably in that big group, but um I can't really see where he's at in here. Is he this guy? Like, what are you? What are you? Exactly. You're not a crossbowman. And you don't look like you're carrying a... I'm going to put you up here with this group. <laughs> you're one of these guys now. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put him right at that checkpoint. Okay. And then these guys... I think I'm willing to just let them do their thing. I'll try to focus on uh, getting to those catapults, I think. Man, they took that down quick. I'm going to just check this group up top. That seems actually great. I'm going to release these guys so they can come join us. That's cool, you got that little bit of light around your uh, horse at night. Very cool. Walk away, guys! That was a clean defense, actually. Okay, so now... Now... We've got... Uh, scarabs from the bottom. And ogres, 12 ogres from the top. I think I can just throw my team at them, and that should be fine. I do need to place a house if I want that benefit. Let's put this here. Oh, look at this. I'll put one of those down too. That's totally, totally cool. I'll lock them right here, actually. Do the same thing that we just did up top. And then the ogres, I'll bring my entire army over there. Yeah, I think a select all or like a radial menu or whatever to select um, specific unit types would be extremely beneficial. Let's tank this up a bit. I'm just worried, like, I might not get to my, like, highest level 
of upgrades all the time, right? And, and that's probably normal. Depending on which perks and stuff you pick. Like, if I had an extra one, two, three gold from my castle every round, that would make a pretty big difference, too. But... Um... Because, yeah, these require 15. It's just, it's just, uh, it's just a lot, you know? So I think what I'll do here is I'll focus on getting our walls solidified. I'm really not worried about this wave. Okay, so this is the second last wave. This should be pretty easy. Okay, you guys are free. Do whatever you want. I'll go help with the ogres. Oh yeah, they do need it. The ogres actually decimated them. Wasn't even close. That's a bit bit scary. I'll try to kite these guys a little bit. Just make sure I'm not getting hit. Strategically, I'd like to like clear a unit instead of putting damage into a bunch. But sometimes it's easier said than done. Okay, we're gonna hold. We're going down to the final wave here, man. This is exciting. Oops. A little preemptive attack there. You know, it, ha it happens when you're excited sometimes. Okay. 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 These spiky balls are gonna be... They're just gonna obliterate everything in their path. Um... This is my last little bit of spending that I can do. So, I think I should go into the walls at least, at a minimum. And then, maybe this one too. There's no sense in me upgrading... Uh, or building any income stuff, because we're not get, getting income here. I feel like this area is is weak. I'm not going to get any final form towers. That's just, that's how it is. Um, so maybe I just upgrade the towers that I have. And both of these towers are going to see a lot of action. And then I've got three. I could do a... Um, yeah, I could do, a, like, an explosive trap here. Hmm. I'm a little concerned, man. My army feels light. Maybe that's something I should have invested more in. Like, I got a, I got a catapult problem down here. Uh... I am not sure what to do. So, three ogres in each group, I see. 25 knights. Uh, I got scarabs at the top and the bottom, but different kinds. Some searching for me, some searching for uh, the castle. Is my group out here? Like, is this too, is this too far? Like, it kind of might be. I also do have that healing aura to play with, you know? Like, I wonder if I if I focus all of my forces here at the start. Just, like, absolutely crush a wave. Or start to crush a wave. Then I move them to this right side. You know, but that just, it leaves me so light everywhere else. 
I'm gonna, I have to take some, I think. Um, you know what? I'll bring these guys up top. I'll put them here. And then, uh, man, this is, this is feeling pretty not great, actually. Like, can I even decimate? I got 50 knights down here, you know? The towers did pretty well against the knights on their own, but, like, with the, all these other things, I just feel like it's going to be quite tough. Um, let's go here. I'll place these guys here. I'm going to wait for them to get into position because some of them are a little slower. But, yeah, we're going to have... This is going to be... This is going to be a challenge for sure. For sure, for sure. I'll group this team up. Have them follow me. Get that healing aura. I need these guys more in this section. Okay, bottom is done. That's excellent news. How's the top doing? Okay, bottom is like mostly done, I guess. I'm gonna bring some over to the top right here. This group has like a couple of stragglers. Now my healing ore is kind of being useless here, but I like I just can't be in all places at all times. I'm kind of at the mercy of everything right now. How's my top side? It's a lot of archers. Just trying to run some interference here. Trying to help out where I can. Bottom looks fine. This side is scary. Top looks fine. I missed. That's not great. I gotta get these catapults. Okay, we're like... Things are happening. They did take out a barracks, which is a problem. That's slowing my spawn quite aggressively. Can't believe we missed that. Are we holding, baby? <laughs> That was excellent. Damn, that was very close. I feel like, oh, that was first, like, four rounds felt like I just couldn't get anything going. Um, so what's interesting about that is, like, um, we got 4,900 4, points there, and I think one of the quests was, like, get 12,000, but I'm only going to achieve that with, with mutators. Um, one fast revive every night. Probably would never, not pick that one. 
Burning oil. Yeah, new upgrade path for your defense towers. Burning oil deals splash damage to enemy units. So that must be like, is that final form towers? I wonder what's better. More towers at kind of middle efficiency or like max upgrade towers with their specialties. Because I, I honestly not sure. Win on Durstein. Now, I feel like if we were to go here next, we're going to get absolutely slapped, but I'm willing to try it. Guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed. We'll be back with this uh, when I have some time, and thanks for watching. Bye for now.